Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Claire. I've got a little commission to do. Um, I've made a friend through painting and through Facebook called Ali, and she, I, I have never met her, but she has covered her entire bedroom wall in paintings of mine, which is such an honor. It's absolutely amazing. She's got one last spot to film. So we've undenied for quite a while about the last piece to go on, on the wall. It's going to be a little hexagon canvas, a 30 centimetre hexagon. Um, and we have decided together it's going to be um, a, a ring pour. The colours she would like are some really deep reds and deep blues. Um, so I really hope that I can do a good job of this last one that, that she's happy with and um, that will match the rest of the the, um, the wall. Um, I'll include a photograph of her wall as is, is now. Um, so let me show you the colours I've chosen. So these are the colours I'm using. Um, the customer wanted red, dark red, dark blue, lighter blue and a yellowy colour. So I, I put all these colours down on a piece of paper, showed her and she's chosen from those. So the colours that she's chosen, we've got a De La Rowney um, Cadmium Yellow Hue, Windsor & Newton Galleria Acry Acrylic Alizar in Crimson, Amsterdam, what one's this? Sky Blue, Amsterdam Thalo Blue, Amsterdam turquoise blue and De La Rowney pearl white. The reason I've got this Pebio colour here, this Prussian blue, is because this colour, this um, Amsterdam colour, it's got an empty box. Can you see that? That means this paint is transparent. So what I've done is used mostly this, but I've just added a tiny, tiny bit of this darker blue. So the colour looks, it looks like the Amsterdam colour, but it's just it's just got a little bit more depth to it, I think, by adding a little bit of an opaque colour. Um, I've mixed all these paints with PVA glue and water, my normal um, pouring medium. But what I've done is mix the pouring medium to the paint in a five to four ratio. Um, so the ratio, for example, is 50 grams of pouring medium and then 40 grams of paint. So this is the order I'm going to put the colours in. At the bottom of the cup, I'm going to start with the white and the yellow because the, the two together with that yellow, it just makes it look like it's, li it's lit up in the centre of the puddle. I'm putting the red and the yellow next to each other because if they mix, they will obviously make orange. Blue and red that will make purple. Um, and I wanted to keep separate the white and the red because if they mix, they'll make pink. So if I get pink, I do, but I'd rather try and keep them separated. Um, I'm going to do, I'm just filling up a paper cup, I'm going to do, I think, two layers of each colour in this cup. So I'm just going to start with quite a small layer. I'm just going to go down the side of the cup. So just a small section, a small bit of white. And then some yellow. I'm running it down the side of the cup so that the colours just sit on top of each other. It will just stop them muddying as much. Right, the canvas I'm using is a 30 centimetre hexagonal canvas. So it's quite a small canvas. So I think the amount of paint I've got in here should be absolutely fine. I think what I will do is just um, put a little um, base layer down. I might just use some of this that's left over. I'm just gonna water it down just fractionally. And the purpose of this is just literally just to wet the canvas so that when I pour the puddle on, it's got something to pour into instead of pouring it onto a dry canvas. So it will just help the puddle to spread out nicely. Right, the reason I'm using a paper cup is because I can pinch it like that, and it creates um, a little funnel. So I'm going to do a tree ring pour, 
So to have a little funnel just gives me much more control of the paint coming out the cup. I'm going to be keeping my cup as low to the canvas as possible. And I'm going to have it, oh, it's going to pour out really quite slowly. Wow, look at that. Look at the rings. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I finished my cup slightly early because uh, the white and the yellow are at the bottom and I've already got plenty of white and yellow, so I didn't want to just keep going. Um, I was happy just to, to leave it like that. Right, I'm going to put some flow extender around the edge here. Um, so all I'm going to do is just pour on some of the leftover paints around the edge. This will all be tilted off but it will just help this puddle to stretch out nicely. So it's actually worth just mixing up a little bit too much paint so that you've got a flow extender. I'm going to torch the puddle. I can see quite a few air bubbles in there. So the torching will just burst the air bubbles. Right, and now I'm going to tilt it. Um, I'm going to just try and stretch it out to start with. I'm not worried about put, um, any dripping off over the edges yet. I'm just literally gonna try and stretch it round in as much of a circle as I can. And then I think I'll start, start going off over the corners. And this is when the magic happens because it just starts opening up the colours, the bands of colour in the centre. So now I can see the turquoise colours, they're coming through. Here, this is gorgeous.
I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the centre and then I'm going to have a look at it and from that decide if I want to do any more tilting. Wow, I love it. That blue next to the white or the pale blue is gorgeous. I can't see the turquoise anymore. I think I'm just going to do a bit more tilting on these corners because I don't I'm not so keen on having that red section because it's too small. I'm absolutely in love with this here, this pale blue next to the dark blue. It works so well. Um, I would almost like to do a painting just with those colours, the dark blue, the light blue. So pretty. So I've got some lovely red there and the red, you can see it just blends to orange, to yellow and then to the white, which is really, really pretty. Um, I love this section here because you've got alternating blue and red lines. And it almost looks like there's gold. There's no gold in here, but I think that's the white and the yellow next to each other. And just look, oh, look at the lines, they're amazing. So many lines. You can see the pearl white there, really nice and sparkly. And then the center. So interestingly, there's not much yellow now in this, in this actual center. It's mostly the pearl white, but look at the shimmer and the sparkle. So pretty, and the depth in it. This is uh, what I love about um, ring pores, is you get because it swells you've got this depth so it almost looks like that central part is sticking up or going down i'm not either way i'm not sure which great so there it is really really happy so i'll be back when it's dry this piece has dried absolutely beautifully i cannot get over how bright this blue and this white section is that blue is a new color to me that amsterdam blue it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, one thing I have done is very carefully painted some more red on top of these red sections. Um, the customer this was for wanted dark blue and dark red. And I just felt that the red had gone a bit brown, a bit more like here. It had gone quite browny. So I've just very delicately, very carefully added a bit of extra red. I have done here and here and here and, and there. Anywhere there was a little bit of red, or in some places, I've just gone over with some more red on top so that it's it's just a bit brighter. And I think that has worked out really well because if you stand back, you get you can see it's definitely, definitely a deep red now. Um, the One of the best bits, I think, about this painting is actually this white. So if I show you in a different angle, can you see it? Oh, it's just so pretty. It just comes alive. It's the pearl white. So, so pretty. Um, so for a small canvas, a small painting, there is a lot going on. Really, really pleased with it, really happy with it. Um, and the customer's really happy with it as well, which is the most important thing. Great, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please do hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and leave me any comments you want to. Um, and please do subscribe to my channel. Great, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.